thank you very much for these opening remarks. Uh, this is the big thing for us as the Sanergy uh, community here in Poland, because uh, this is the very first meeting in Poland to give you an update what we have been up to uh, since the, uh, um, the end of the two big uh, consortia that uh, you may recall, because we had a, a meeting, joint meeting here in Warsaw one and a half years ago. But anyway, uh, I'm going to tell you about uh, Sanergy, the new large scale initiative uh, that we've launched uh, recently. Uh, that is, uh, the theme is the fossil free fuels and chemicals for a climate neutral Europe. That's basically what uh, Sanergy uh, in one sentence is about. Uh, so we'll, let's start with, oh, to get, yeah, that's it. Uh, so uh, obviously we all know, and I don't have to convince anyone in this audience that we need an urgent action uh, because there is the probably the biggest uh, challenge for the humankind that uh, is facing us uh, in presently and in, in, in the foreseeable future. This is the climate challenge. Uh, so Sanergy is very much uh, well embedded in this challenge. Uh, as you obviously know, the rising temperature and carbon dioxide emissions cause climate change, as uh, beautifully presented and quite uh, convincingly presented uh, in this slide. I hope you can see the animation, because unfortunately I can't see it. Can you see the animation? So the rise in the uh, atmospheric CO2 concentration is uh, uh, closely linked to the global temperature uh, change. The average uh, temperature uh, in our atmosphere is, of course, uh, uh, higher than uh, ever recorded. Uh, so the path to uh, Sanergy uh, is, um, is a, um, uh, presented in this uh, slide. Uh, in March 2019, two big uh, coordination and support action uh, consortia started uh, their hard work within the Horizon 2020 framework. These were... Joanna, uh, uh, sorry hello. to interrupt you. We still see the, the second slide. I think it's just the slow uh, change of slide. Because okay. The slide is definitely on my screen. So I wonder okay. what it would be better for you to um, control it. I'm not sure. Can you see the next slide or is it still the, the old one? No, it's still the old one. Okay. Um, I can look up your presentation and perhaps share it for you. How about now? Ah, there we are. Yep. Okay, great. Uh, so in the right, so in the in March 2019, we started the two um, big uh, coordination and support actions. These were the two consortia, Sunrise and Energy X. A lot of you know these consortia because you provide our basis here in Poland. Uh, in uh, June 2019, um, uh, we launched a joint proposal to the European Commission called Fossil Free Fuels, Chemicals and Materials for a Circular Economy um, for, in a bid for a partnership within the Horizon Europe framework. In August 2019, uh, official merging of uh, both consortia was announced at uh, the biggest catalysis uh, congress in Europe, in, uh, Europa CAT in Aachen, in Germany. Uh, and that's when um, the will of uh, the merger was for, for the first time officially announced, um, which then led in February 2020, so effectively a year ago, to the official launch of uh, uh, Sanergy as the new uh, large uh, uh, research and innovation initiative. The launch took place in Brussels, both in the uh, European Parliament, as well as uh, uh, in a separate kickoff uh, meeting um, uh, in one of the representations uh, in Brussels. That's where the uh, common implementation plan and also the governance was uh, established, which I will tell you in, in a few words in a moment. And as of March 2020, we've entered, uh, we, we like to call it a ramp up phase towards establishing the official partnership uh, uh, that uh, uh, would uh, conduct this large scale research and innovation initiative. The state of play uh, is uh, very simple. We've got the uh, executive uh, board, scientific board, and we've got the industry board as uh, the government's uh, body, as the core group of uh, Sanergy. Um, the um, 
chief of uh, Sanergy at present is Bert uh, Weckhuisen. He's the coordinator, professor from Utrecht University. Um, and uh, the deputy coordinator is uh, Frédéric jean from uh, um, CEA, the, one of the biggest uh, research institutions uh, or research, uh, um, many a network of research institutions in, uh, in France. And I'm think, delighted uh, to know that Frédéric is actually with us uh, today. Um, the uh, close interaction with industry board, because of course we cannot uh, conduct this large research uh, um, uh, and innovation initiative without a very strong involvement of industry. Um, so we've got the industry board, uh, which is chaired by uh, Maximilian Fleischer uh, from Siemens. But of course the basis, the core, the foundation for Sanergy is the Sanergy community. And that's why we've uh, decided to launch a series of meetings uh, in various uh, countries uh, represented by uh, Sanergy stakeholders to raise awareness of what we have been doing. This is not just a club of, uh, this is not just a club, but we actually um, do things as you will learn in a moment. Uh, we've got currently supporters from uh, academia, industry, civil society, but also from governmental and local authorities. So this is the perfect foundation to build this large scale initiative. The Sanergy vision, this, uh, you this is something that you probably already um, uh, are aware, or if you are not aware, let me just refresh uh, your memory about uh, the vision. Uh, the vision of Sanergy is to enable a circular economy. How? By making fossil free fuels and base chemicals for industry and agriculture. So this is both sectors of economy, industry and agriculture. This is our focus uh, because of course this, uh, these two sectors of uh, economy are uh, uh, pivotal for a smooth transition from linear economy that is currently the model uh, in uh, most of the, uh, well, in all the developed countries into a circular model. Uh, and how do we want to do it? By developing negative carbon dioxide emission technologies using resources, and that is important, that are abandoned in Europe, not just in Europe, in the world, but of course we're focusing on Europe. Uh, so we will use, uh, uh, we aim to use renewable energies, and sun energy focuses on solar and wind energies, carbon dioxide, atmospheric carbon dioxide, water, including water vapors, uh, and uh, atmospheric uh, nitrogen. The objectives are threefold. First of all, you want to store the renewable energy in the form of liquid fuels, so the compounds that carry the highest energy density. So we don't, you don't want to uh, build the circular economy model depending on whether the sun shines or uh, doesn't shine. So you want to store the energy. The second objective is production of fossil free base chemicals, which drive, of course, industry and agriculture. Uh, and the third objective is the development of technologies that will reach a negative carbon dioxide footprint. So these are the three objectives of Sanergy. In terms of the science and technology focus, obviously we want to uh, apply a uh, uh, we want to build our, it's uh, um, referred to as the full value chain for transitioning to a circular economy, using technologies that, ha that are much more mature. Uh, someone, I remember Maximil Maximilian Fleischer, is, is, I remember his statement, uh, um, our chair of the industrial, the chair of our industrial board mentions that in order to implement the new technology on a large scale, you need to have, uh, uh, you need to allow 30 years. So, of course, uh, for the transition into a circular economy model, we need to use the uh, technologies that are already relatively mature and are ready for the large scale implementation. Uh, and these technologies would be under renewable power conversion to fuels and chemicals through electrochemical and thermochemical conversion. Uh, uh, Sanergy, however, also uh, very much uh, focuses on much more disruptive technologies which are based on direct conversion of solar energy uh, into fuels and chemicals through photoelectrochemical, uh, photocatalytic approaches, but also using biological and biohybrid technologies based on the solar converting biological, uh, uh, either nanomachines or um, uh, um, uh, 
cell factories, as it is uh, nicely uh, referred to. So we're talking about things like algae and uh, uh, plants, but also bio uh, biomolecular technologies where you can um, extract components of these uh, living systems that can absorb solar energy or somehow be sensitized by solar energies and they can produce renewable fuels and chemicals. The three key reactions, uh, I don't want to go into the details, but basically the water splitting, carbon reduction, and atmospheric uh, and, uh, nitrogen reduction. Uh, these are the three key, react uh, key reactions, chemical reactions that provide the basis for the science uh, uh, represented by SANEG. Uh, in terms of the details, what are the specific uh, um, technologies that uh, SANEG develops? You can all learn from the, uh, about them, about uh, the state of the art, the challenges for the uh, uh, for the technologies of uh, Sanergy, as well as uh, uh, the key enablers, uh, so the approaches that uh, are quintessential to bring these technologies, especially the disruptive technologies, but also the more mature technologies into the uh, uh, high uh, TRL, technology readiness level and high level implementation, are uh, published uh, in the form of the uh, Sunrise, uh, this is the previous CSA I, uh, that, that you're familiar with, uh, Sunrise uh, Roadmap, and also the uh, Energy X produced uh, an excellent document research needs uh, uh, report. Uh, both documents are freely available from the web. So maybe, uh, Linda, if you could um, copy the, the um, links to these uh, documents in case people didn't have the chance of familiarizing themselves, especially the newcomers to our uh, community, uh, uh, you will have a lot of details about the challenges that face us. And of course, for the scale up, it is all, it, this is the obvious statement, but it has to be placed here. You want to have efficient academic and industry collaboration, and you want to make demonstration projects. If you really want to make a difference, you need to make the demonstration project by this, by this very uh, close collaboration, a kind of nexus be between uh, academia and industry. And the demonstration projects could be fossil-free airport, production of chemicals from carbon dioxide in energy-intensive uh, uh, industry plants, such as cement plants or steel works, to give an example. And of course, decentralized production of fertilizers. That's what uh, is also the key uh, uh, part of the Sanergy uh, value chain um, for, for example, precision farming. So this is what, uh, what basically, in, the, in a nutshell, uh, the, the science and technology focus of Sanergy is. For the... Um, Large, why do we want this large scale research and innovation in initiative? Why do we want uh, Sanergy? You may uh, ask yourself. What is the added value? Well, the added value is this um, scientific uh, uh, linking the scientific breakthroughs that are uh, achieved through top quality uh, science using completely new paradigms for energy conversion to tightly coupled scale ups. That's basically the first uh, added value. The second added value is uh, the fact that Sanergy uh, represents or, or, or aims at the multi-pronged attack. What does it mean? Uh, we want to employ a vast array of scientific tools and approaches, and uh, we want to, of course, couple academia, industry, but also policymakers that will help us uh, bring these uh, um, uh, exciting breakthrough scientific tools and approaches into a large-scale implementation. Uh, so the sustainable and coherent framework is absolutely essential. We don't want to do all these actions in, in a vacuum or basically everyone just that attends to their own uh, small field. We really want to have pospolite uh, ruszenie uh, in Polish. So in other words, we really want to mobilize the best brains in academia, industry, uh, civil society, to really bring the uh, uh, transition into uh, fossil-free uh, chemicals and fuels a re reality in Europe. So for that, you really do need a pan-European platform for, uh, that would uh, tackle this challenge for the benefit of uh, uh, Europe's industry, but also the civil society alike. So where are we now, uh, you may want uh, uh, you to ask. Well, uh, as you know, uh, since the official launch of uh, Sanergy in February 2020 in Brussels, uh, we've entered uh, the ramp-up phase. The ramp-up phase, that is uh, uh, basically coordination, community building, 
road mapping and implementation of Sanergy roadmap that we're currently preparing. Uh, we're actually preparing the uh, scientific uh, research and innovation agenda that will be the basis for building uh, um, the a proper Sanergy roadmap, which will not be the Sunrise roadmap or Energy X roadmap, but it will be a completely new, uh, new uh, document that will uh, provide a synergy between both uh, consortia. Uh, what else do we do in the ramp up phase? We are lobbying for a portfolio of uh, projects that are related to Sanergy's vision and objectives that I've uh, described. Uh, that obviously uh, has to involve both uh, innovation actions, so the very industry focused uh, um, uh, calls, but also research and innovation actions. Uh, directed at both industry but also academia. And we also want to um, uh, obtain a coordination and support action for uh, our efforts uh, as a kind of glue within the Green Deal 2020 call within Horizon Europe. So the idea is to, uh, the aim is to reach the official partnership by the year 2024. So the activity update, let me give you an activity update what we've been up to. So we have been very actively involved in area three, industry for a clean uh, and circular economy uh, within this uh, Green Deal uh, 2020 call called closing the industrial uh, carbon cycle to combat climate change, industrial feasibility of catalytic routes for sustainable alternatives to fossil resources. So just the summary of this uh, innovation action is presented here. Uh, this uh, TRL 4.5 to TRL 7, TRL meaning technology readiness level, duration up to five years and the EU funding secured for this, uh, uh, I would uh, not hesitate to call it a very noble and much needed action is uh, 40 million euros per project with a total budget of 80 million euros. With of course, as always for the IA um, uh, calls with a strong uh, industry co-funding. So Sanergy has been active with it uh, within this uh, particular call and we have uh, submitted um, a proposal. Horizon Europe, uh, um, of course, is the new framework in which we scientists and engineers, uh, uh, policymakers, will, will be working for the foreseeable future within for the next uh, uh, several years. Uh, um, and uh, another activity update is uh, the fact that Sanergy has been very active in lobbying for the topics within Horizon Europe. Uh, especially in clusters four, four and five, and I'm delighted to have the uh, uh, representatives, uh, uh, Polish representatives uh, uh, of uh, clusters four and five, uh, uh, who will give you an overview of both clusters in a, in a few minutes. Uh, so we have, I don't really have time to go through the details, but certainly we have uh, proposed a, a number of topics that have been uh, subsequently uh, embedded within uh, work programs that are, I have to stress are still currently under discussion. Nothing is set in stone, but it looks very optimistic and very positive that these topics that are listed here in this slide uh, may appear in the final work programs. And of course, the, as I mentioned, our stronghold, our foundation is the strong community of stakeholders who will help us make uh, the reality of uh, a fossil free uh, industry and agriculture in Europe. Uh, so we have uh, select, we have uh, um, nominated representatives of the Sanergy community, both from academia and industry, to be advocates uh, for Sanergy's uh, objectives uh, and vision within member states and associated countries. And you've got the countries listed here. So of course, you know, you have to have the people who will devote their time, uh, their passion, uh, to uh, advocacy uh, for the topics within Horizon Europe. So we have uh, um, uh, we have uh, uh, nominated such uh, such advocates of Sanergy. The uh, of course we want to bring the uh, Sanergy community uh, together in Europe, and hence uh, we have recently decided to uh, run a, a brokerage event. Uh, whose main, uh, main objective is to raise awareness of relevant Horizon Europe topics uh, for Sanergy and Sanergy ramp-up uh, uh, phase, 
uh, to support community building, to engage members much more so that they would really be actively involved in uh, uh, in uh, applying for grants within the topics published by the European Commission within Horizon Europe Work Programme. Uh, we want uh, the aim of this brokerage event is also to support relevant proposals from the community by uh, uh, offering the synergy label for the selected proposals, uh, and of course increase synergy visibility towards both the European Commission, so the decision makers, but of course other decision important, equally as important decision makers in member states and uh, other stakeholders. Um, the uh, another action that has been carrying uh, being is being carried out uh, as we speak is preparation of strategic research and innovation agenda, which I have a pleasure of and um, you know a big uh, duty to head. Uh, so this is the again the, the the document short document that will be developed hopefully within the uh, coordination and support action if we successful with uh, obtaining it of course uh, into the proper uh, roadmap. Uh, then the first of uh, uh, this is this is going to be the first of a series of meetings and the tentative uh, date is the 30th of April. Uh, it may still change because we would like to coincide this meeting with the publication of 2021-22 uh, Horizon Europe Work Program. So this is a growing community, as you can see, and I'd like to stress one very important message at the end of my presentation that Sanergy is open and inclusive. We're not a closed club, okay? If you want to get involved, if you want to be informed, if you want to actively help us with the transition that I've been talking about for the last 15 minutes or so, uh, just join us, okay? Join us and uh, uh, issue us with the support letters if you think that you have uh, uh, the sufficient level of competence to contribute to any of the elements of the Synergy value chain. Give us the support letters. We need the support letters because uh, obviously these are the key uh, indicators or key parameters that will be essential for uh, our negotiations with the Commission. So these support letters are very important. So I would strongly encourage you to uh, issue us with the support letters uh, uh, if you haven't done so yet. Many of you have done that, but uh, certainly for the Polish supporters, we would like to have a little bit more uh, action on this very point. Uh, we have, uh, just to give you a, a kind of interesting fact, we have um, uh, assembled, the, despite the fact that we don't have any uh, uh, financing from uh, the European, condition, uh, European Commission at the moment, we've already assembled 95,000 euros as the voluntary, and that's why it's underlined, voluntary monetary, monetary contribution, because becoming the supporter uh, and issuing us with a support letter doesn't mean that you have paid you have, that you have to pay any money. I'd like to stress it out and just to avoid any any misunderstandings. Uh, this is just to uh, for from the organisations that thought that it is really uh, uh, worth uh, this to give like some small investment to keep us going during this ramp up phase. This is the contribution that we've already assembled. So if you want to be involved, contact us. Uh, you've got these two uh, addresses. One is the, the general address of the head office of Sanergy. Um, the second address, I've given my address if, uh, here for the uh, Polish or, or, or of course, uh, foreign supporters. If you want to learn more, if you want to become involved, uh, by all means, contact me directly. So thank you very much. Oh, yes, for the last thing, I'd like to show you just a few of the uh, slides with just a selection of the supporters. These are not all the supporters. These are the uh, both industrial and academic uh, supporters that uh, uh, issued us with the uh, um, uh, with the support letters. And from Poland, we've I've just uh, given the slide for the Sunrise supporters, uh, but also the uh, supporters from. Uh, 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 that's right, from the Sunrise supporters, of which some of them only issued us with the support letters. So we really need to have the support letters from all the Polish stakeholders uh, who would like to um, strengthen our, our um, efforts in, uh, in Europe. So I think that's basically it. So thank